I grew up in an era, and you grew up in that era of separation. Not only did we separate purpose and profit, but rich countries and poor countries, everything had a either or. That doesn't work in an interdependent world. We grew up with human beings at the center of the universe through our religions, through our nations. Um, and, and certainly by the 1980s, we had raised to the rank of religion, this idea of greed is good. Um, I can win only if you lose. And, and while that did create great efficiencies, it did leave us in this divided, isolated uh, state at extraordinary risk to climate crisis. Um, and we're watching that in real time just today, if you open the newspaper, all around the world. The new narrative goes to what you were writing about a long time ago, which is, um, and so it's also an ancient narrative that we are not at the pinnacle, the center of the universe, but we are actually connected to all living things, not even just all other human beings. And if you build a framework based not just on I, the individual and profit, but rather that interdependency, it is by definition a moral framework, a framework that has to take into consideration the well being of all of the different stakeholders. Um, moving from a system that puts profit and the individual at the center to one that insists on our shared humanity and the sustainability of the earth is that moral revolution. The word moral is tricky because we so often think of it as a set of rules handed down from on high, but instead this one actually comes from the frame itself, that web of interconnectedness that I am because you are. Uh, you build from there and everything changes. And the ethos to build that then has to go from do unto others as you would have them do unto you to one of give more than you take. And I think I was going to say even, but maybe especially for impact investors, that also means ensure that you are investing more than you extract. Once you start to make that shift, truly the world can change.